Has Christmas been cancelled? This morning, when many should have woken up to presents and half-eaten carrots, there are scenes of empty Christmas trees across the country. We're getting reports in from hundreds of people who have risen this morning to what appears to be a cancelled Christmas. Now everyone's asking, where is Santa? According to the Global Santa Tracker, it appears that Santa's last reported delivery was here in the northeast of England, but ominously, he hasn't moved on since then. Our reporters have already been out and about, gaining reaction to this unprecedented event. By the burn, she's, she's proper devastated, like she wanted to run down cuddly penguins and that off the advert. Why, we've had to tell we're going to get her a real one just to stop her from crying. I mean, where am we going to get a penguin from? It's Christmas Day. We came down this morning and there was nothing, no presents, nothing under the Christmas tree. What's most sad about this is that the most important man of the year, it just didn't arrive and no one knows what's happened. I've just had enough, I don't know what to do. Retailers are moving in to help save Christmas. One major chain, Wiseman's, has put out a statement confirming that they will be opening their doors to desperate parents. I have with me now, live on video phone, CEO of Wiseman's, Jeremy Turner. Good morning, Mr. Turner. Good morning. So you are opening your doors to allow parents to put some presents under the tree. Absolutely. We're working as quickly as we can to get as many people in, to get the staff in to open stores throughout the country. We've got the staff in here in the office calling, um, calling in staff. Um, everybody's pulling together. It's their Christmas too, but they want to save this very special day. And what time do you expect your doors to be open? We're hoping to open them um, within the hour. Um, we need to get as much staff in um, in order to accommodate the customers expected. Thank you, Jeremy Turner. Thank you. Not surprisingly, social media has gone mad with the hashtag Don't Cancel Christmas trending and thousands sharing their stories. Harvey Rizou says, no presents, kids devastated. Seriously, what is going on? And Lucy Lovell says, this is truly sad when someone goes missing at Christmas. Very sad indeed. And more breaking news just coming in. Our reporter, Tom Whitman, on the live scene right now. What can you tell us, Tom? We understand that a man was knocked down around midnight right here at this location. You can see the incident behind us. As yet, police are not really revealing any further details uh, regarding the incident or indeed the name or identity of the man involved. Already a crowd is starting to gather as people try and piece together what is occurring. Uh, did you see what happened here, sir? Uh, I didn't know. I just went out with the dog and saw the commotion and came to see what was happening. Uh, and what about you? What's brought you down here? Um, I got a text from one of my friends and he was saying that Christmas had been cancelled. So I heard about the accident and decided to come and see what was going on. Uh, um, and what about you, young man? I woke up this morning and there was no presents under the tree, so I thought there was something wrong. Obviously something is going on, and as we get more information, we will bring it to you as soon. We're just getting something handed here. Actually, a statement from the police regarding the incident. Um, they can confirm that a large elderly gentleman with a white beard was involved in a road traffic collision in which he was exiting his sleigh. The driver who knocked him over has been remanded in custody. His blood alcohol was twice over the limit. Uh, the casualty still remains in a critical condition and the police are appealing for further witnesses. But on the face of that, tragically, it appears that everyone's Christmas this year will be cancelled due to the mindless act of a drunk driver. Don't cancel Christmas because of a drink.